Hi everybody, it's Rebecca at Design and Adorn, and I would like to talk to you about the Cosmic Dream necklace. I am so excited about these new Cosmic Dream kits that we put together. Um, we were inspired by the new space telescope photos that uh, NASA just released, and that got us just browsing the entire catalog of incredible NASA images, and we wanted to, to do something to just just to, to like channel our our excitement at seeing all these amazing images. So we used these images as our inspiration for pulling together the colorways for the Cosmic Dream Kit. So let me show you first what is what is a Cosmic Dream necklace. That's the necklace that's that's on the screen now. But let me show you closer. All right. So this is the Cosmic Dream and what we have going on here is it's a kumihimo braid so this is beaded kumihimo these are size eight seed beads it doesn't really fit all the way in the frame so we have size eight seed beads um, for either side of our focal piece this is a congo gumi braid that means it's top right down bottom left up then you turn the disc. So this is the, the same braid structure that we use for almost all of our projects. And then here in the center, we have an assortment of check glass beads. So I've got like some eight millimeters, six millimeters, four millimeters are the smallest. And what we've done with these is we have done a really neat wire coiling technique it's so easy um let me, let me just pop one of these on here let's start with a an eight millimeter so you're gonna have a ball head pin and then your bead and you just put your bead on the head pin like so and then you're gonna take your bail making pliers so bail making pliers are similar to round nose pliers but rather than having each barrel um, taper as it comes to a point, it's the same diameter, the entire length of it. So that way your wraps will be consistently sized. We're gonna be working on the smaller side here. So I grab my head pin right above the bead. So my, my pliers are touching the bead here and I'm going to push this wire around so that it wraps over the smaller side. So we're gonna apply pressure with my thumb and then rotate and then no I'm gonna like temporarily like lose my mind and forget how to do my own technique scrap that try it again sorry sometimes the the brain fog is overwhelming put the bead on ah, da, da. put the bead on and grab the very very tip very very dip 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 nothing is showing I was starting out like I was making a wrap loop we're not making a wrap loop we're making a coiled loop so we're at the very very tip we're way up here uh, we are going to be wrapping around the smaller side. I got that part right. And we are going to apply some pressure with our opposite thumb and we coil like this. So I'm turning the plier and I'm pressing the wire around. Oh, pro tip, don't put on lotion immediately before doing this or your fingers will slip. There we go. Found the spot on my finger where my lotion isn't quite so slick. So we're just gonna, you just wind it until the wire meets the bead. All right, let's do it again. Let's see if I can be slightly more graceful the second time around. So this time I'm gonna do one that's a double. This is a teacup, cute little cup bead here. I'm gonna put that on my head pin so that the cup is cupping the ball of the ball head pin. And then I'm gonna grab a six millimeter like so. So this is a double, we have the, the teacup and the six millimeter, you can see them here in the in the braid. 
grab the end of our head pin and turn the plier, coil that wire around, around until it meets, until it meets the bead. There we go. So it doesn't matter what size bead you're doing. The technique is the same. And once you get the hang of it and you're doing it without lotioned hands, it goes pretty quickly. So you wrap up all of your focal beads and then they get braided in. Now, I want to show you these NASA photos that we found. Um, there are thousands, thousands of images. And what we did was we picked out 14 of them and used them as our inspiration for the colorways. That one is the, I think that's the Andromeda Galaxy. Aren't these cool? Like some of them, it, it's hard to believe that they're actual like photographs. That the, I mean, that they're not paintings. Um, not all of them are images that are made with uh, visible light. Some of them are like infrared or different things. Um, I had to go online and, and read about how, how they made some of these. It's really, really cool. So we're calling the Cosmic Dream an intermediate kit because of the centerpiece where you have all of these coiled beads, we're actually going to be doing a multi-drop. So you'll be dropping more than one bead at a time. There are actually some demi beads that are hidden in there. They're just part of the structure of the piece. You don't really see them. They're just in there for stability. But because you're dropping more than one bead at a time, uh, we're calling this one an intermediate. So it is best that if you have done some Kumihimo, beaded Kumihimo projects in the past, these colorways turned out phenomenally. And I think you're going to be so, so happy making these necklaces. They're just, they're really pretty. Um, they're, they're nice to wear. I've got one on here. Oh, let me show you the the clasp that we're putting on these. This is really cool. Cool for a couple of reasons. One, it's a starburst, so it's on theme. So we're gonna have our end caps here, but then it's a magnet and has this little like lip with a cut in it. So it adds kind of a locking mechanism. You kind of like lift it a little bit as you pick it up. It's got the star on both sides. So thought that was just perfect. So these 